Hi everyone. In this video about Kubernetes practice questions for CKA and CKAD, we will discuss secrets. So exam may ask uh, secrets in a few different ways. So we will try to cover three or four different ways in which exam uh, can ask questions about the secrets. So let's delve into question one. Using the imperative commands, to create a secret name secret one with key value pairs username equals to my user one and password equals to password one. Verify the secret was created with correct data. So let's get to our command line and create the secret. So before that, let's see if what kind of secrets we have. And as I said before, uh, I just create some shortcuts uh, where you have alias k equals to kubectl it saves a few keystrokes which is really helpful in the exam scenario where in two hours you have like 17 to 20 questions uh, every few seconds counts so let's take a look at the current secrets that we have okay get secret so we have some secrets but uh, nothing with the secret one uh, so let's create one secret so using imperative commands, uh, so you can create something like a k create secret generic. Name of the secret is secret1. And we are getting it from literals. And I'll just copy paste just to our username equals to my underscore user1. And another one is from literals equals to password equals to p at the rate wrd1 it looks correct so sorry this should be from literal let's take a look at our secret so our secret is created so now what let's do it's asking you to verify that the secret was created with correct data. So if I just say do kget secret secret one, I don't get anything. So you have to get using the YAML format. Now we see that our username and password secrets are created, but this is base64 encoded data. So take a, let's take a look if uh, this is correct data or not. And we'll do base 64 decode. And if you see, I'll just go here and we have the my user one for the user. And let's do the same thing for the password. Go <coughs> base 64 minus T. And we have the same thing for the password. So our secret was created successfully. Let's move on to the next question. Create a YAML file to create secret name, secret2 with key value pairs user2 and password2. Verify the secret is created with correct data. Let's do it. So in this case, they're asking us to create a YAML file. So what we will do is we'll create a YAML file. Let's say secret2.yaml. I already have created this, so let's name it a little differently. We are secret 22.yaml, for example. And let's start creating this file. We have API version as v1. Find is secret metadata, which will have a name. And the secret name is secret2. And then we provide the data. And the data is user2, sorry, user2 as my user2 and password2 is p at the rate wrd2. Now, uh, sorry, I made a mistake here, so it should be colon. So, what do you guys think? Will it work? 
it will not work because when we do the imperative commands we saw that how this data got converted into base64 so if i just try to run this file it will not work because it needs base64 encoded values of my user2 and password2 let's try to run it anyways okay apply minus f secret 22 and it gives me error that you have to provide base64 encoded data so let's take a look at the base64 encoded values for these two va uh, values which is echo my user2 base64 and this is this guy so let's modify our file first file first value in the file and For the second value, we'll do again the same thing. Try to get the base64 version of this, and we'll say echo base64, and put this in the file. Let's try to run this and see if our secret is created. Okay, apply minus f secret now our secret should be created let's take a look at it and then we should verify whether this is correct created with the correct data or not so let's do the same thing okay get secret secret 2 and if I take the password from here and just do echo and in this case we'll do page 64 decode and it's password 2 which is correct and similarly for the user 2 we'll do the same thing it's my user 2 so this looks correct and we have these two secrets created Let's move on to the next question. Create a pod named secret pod1 using image nginx. Set up the secret secret1 as volume mount on the pod at path etc secret1. Verify the secret values are passed from secret to the pod. Okay, so let's create this pod and use the secret that we created in question1, one, secret1, one, and mount it on this particular path. So we'll use imperative command to create the pod and the pod configuration file rather and then we will add some more details about the secret. So okay run secret pod1 and annex. We'll choose the dry run flag dry run equals to client minus o yaml and let's save it as secret pod1.yaml let's go to the file and then mount our secret in this particular pod so let's remove these lines we don't need them so in the spec section let's first mount the wall mount the secret as a volume so we'll say volumes and Kubernetes has open book policy, so you can always go to Kubernetes documentation to find all these. So for example, how uh, this volume is being mounting, uh, volumes uh, is set up here and is mounted on the container. So let's do the same thing. So volumes name is, name doesn't really matter, but it should be matching between the mount and the actual volume. So, and then this volume is coming from a secret so we'll say secret and let's use the reference secret name test secret in our case the secret name is secret name is secret one and to mount to the container uh, we will use the volume mounts name is secret one 
and mount path is let's see your question mount path is etc slash secret one so we'll go back to tc slash secret one one, one, one thing I want to point out here, if the secret does not exist, your pod will not be created and it will just be in the waiting state. So just be very careful. Uh, sometimes uh, if for whatever reason the secret doesn't exist or question actually asks you to create a secret first, then you should do that first before trying to mount it on the pod. Because in the exam, you will unnecessarily waste some valuable minutes figuring it out. So just a tip that Make sure that the secret exists before you use it. So it looks good. Volume says name secret one and then secret name is um, secret one. And uh, we are mounting the secret one on this path. And once we have uh, this part created, we should be able to see this data in the part. Okay. So let's run this. Okay. Apply minus F secret part one. Okay, we made a oh spelling mistake. It should be mount path. Mount path. Okay. So our pod is created. Let's go to secret pod. Continue is creating and continue is running now. So what we will do? We'll exec into it and uh, see if our secret was mounted at etc secret one location. So we'll do k exec minus it to this pod and just go to a uh, shell so let's see if etc secret one so we see password and the username both are mounted so let's take a look at the values that we have in there so we'll say cat etc secret one slash username and we see there's my username one we do the same thing for the password etc secret one slash password password and we have the password one mounted so that's that's it for the question three we were able to create the secret and mount it on a pod at a particular directory location now your application can read from that particular directory location it could be anything secret can be used to pass key value parameters or your database username passwords or uh, your ssh keys etc so but we were able to mount it and that's what the question asks us let's take a look at the next question so create a pod named secret pod 2 using image nginx and from question 2 we already have a secret created with the name secret 2 and key value pairs so and so pass the following environment variables to the container db user from secret2 and key user2 and db password as secret2 and key password2. Verify the pod is created successfully and the container has the above environment variables. So let's do it. Let's go back to our terminal. We will again use the imperative command to get the basic config file for the pod and then we will create some more additional entries to satisfy this question. So let's start. Okay, run secret part two and images and jinx. Again, dry run equals to client YAML and then we'll call it same way secret part two dot YAML. Let's modify this file according to the question secret part two dot YAML. We don't need all this, so I'll just sort of clean up a little bit. Now let's see. So it's asking us to pass two environment variables, name db user from secret to a key user two and db password from secret to and key password two. So let's start creating those. So we will say env and first my environment variable name is db underscore user now where are we getting this from so we can say value from and it takes secret key ref as a 
another entry and then name of the secret is secret to and key is user2 so we have secret2 and user2 going in as db user to the environment variable of the container let's similarly create a second environment variable name db password value again the same thing you can check it from the example here and uh, it takes a name it takes value from secret key ref and name and key you can copy paste and modify it and then uh, to save time in the typing time in the exam i'm just going to type it right now uh, so value from value from comes from secret key ref and the name of the secret is secret2 and key is password2 let's take a look at it one more time verify it up with our uh, question so we have a secret name secret2 db user is going in as uh, user2 and db password is going in as password2 from the secret2 let's save this and then apply it So let's take a look let's see if the pod is created is creating so pod is successfully created now let's verify whether db user and db password were passed to the container as environment variable so for that we will just do same way k exec dash it secret pod 2 since we only have one container we don't have to see minus do minus c so we can just directly run the command print e and v which will print the environment variables that were passed to the only container in this pod and we have the db user as my user2 and db password password2 passed to this particular container and that's what this question asked us to do and we were able to successfully create the pod and verify that the environment variables were passed to it that is all for this section I hope you really liked it. Please like, share and subscribe for more Kubernetes CK, CKAD exam practice videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.